Article 5 is the secret sauce of the U.S. Constitution. It says how the Constitution can be amended or changed peacefully, but it was supposed to become more perfect, as the preamble says, over time. Through the amendment process, we the people create a more perfect union from 1787 through today. Many states would not ratify or approve the Constitution until a federal Bill of Rights was promised, just like their state constitutions. They suggested proposed amendments, which James Madison, now an elected representative, included in his draft for the new Congress. Congress reduced Madison's list into 12 proposed amendments, but the states only approved 10 of them in 1791. Together, these first 10 amendments are known as the Bill of Rights because they list the freedoms most important to the American people. Article 5 includes several ways that amendments can be added to the Constitution. First, they must be proposed by a two-thirds majority in each House of Congress or by a convention called by two-thirds of state legislatures for that purpose. Amendments must then be ratified by three-fourths of the states, either by the state legislatures or special state conventions. Congress picks which one. Remember those two amendments that weren't approved by the states to be part of the Bill of Rights? More than 200 years later, one of them became the 27th Amendment in 1992 after a college student took it on as a special project. Now, a pay raise for Congress cannot take effect until after the people vote to re-elect them. Or not. Since 1789, about 12,000 amendments have been suggested in Congress, but only 33 were accepted in both houses and sent to the states for approval. The 27th Amendment was a leftover from 1791, and it was ratified in the last century. Are we overdue for some constitutional amendments today? What amendments do you think should be added to the Constitution? <laughs>